Each year, there's about 500 new TV shows made for adult audiences across cable, broadcast TV, and streaming services. About 80 of these shows will never get a second season. Out of the 20% that do get renewed for a second season, only about 5% will ever make it to 100 episodes. Less than 1% of these shows will ever get to 200 episodes, and less than 0.01% ever make it to 300 episodes. So if you take all this information and look at the odds of one show making it to 300 episodes and 15 seasons, they're about less than 0.0001%. And that's just my math, the reality of it is I could be way off and it could be far smaller than that. I'm a YouTuber, okay, not a mathematician. So among these shows that sit at the top when it comes to the number of seasons and episodes is a little known show called Supernatural. I have quite a history with Supernatural and so do a lot of people, but how extensive does that history go? Did everybody really watch all 15 seasons of this show? Do new viewers really want to now? In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing Supernatural and long running TV shows in general by asking this question, is 15 seasons too many? So I grew up watching Supernatural. I got a bunch of my friends into it, and this was a time before Netflix when we actually had the DVDs. So we'd watch a few episodes, somebody would have to get up and change the disc, and that was our lives for like an entire summer. My sister had the first five seasons on DVD, so those were the ones that we watched, and it seemed to wrap everything up with a nice bow. There was a weird kind of cliffhanger moment, but overall the series was fantastic. The world building and lore of the show was thoroughly explained by the actions of of our characters, and the series went from a kind of adventure of the week to having a more serialized story, all leading to the biggest bad guy of them all, the devil. There's not really anything else you can do after you beat the devil, but somehow this show went on for an additional 10 seasons. Now, I don't know the story of these seasons, I'm not sure what happens, but as I was scrolling through Netflix, I saw the show pop up, and I thought, you know what, it's been a few years, I really remember liking this show, and there's an additional 10 seasons worth of episodes that I've never seen, but do I really want to start this? 15 seasons is an absolute monster of a hill to climb, but after doing some more thinking, why not start a show that you know is gonna have a continue watching button for seasons at a time? I think most people would agree that when you go looking for a show to watch, you wanna find a show that has multiple seasons, that way you can get invested in a story and binge watch to your liking. With show after show being canceled after one season, it's become exhausting to try out new shows. You get invested in a story and set up for a second season, season, only for it to never come. And especially when it comes to Netflix. Last year alone, Netflix canceled 24 of their new shows, among them being two shows that I really enjoyed, 1899 and Archive 81. They come out with literal dozens of new shows in order to gain an audience, but most audiences aren't going to watch a show unless it has more than a few seasons. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Can you imagine if some of the shows that either had a not-so-great first season or one that didn't immediately have a ton of popularity, like The Office? Office or Breaking Bad never returned for a second season? Shows need multiple seasons in order for audiences to know whether it's good enough and worth their time. And just because a show doesn't exceed expectations the first time around doesn't mean it won't in the future. Now, I'm sure there are other factors in this situation that I'm not aware of, I won't pretend that I know all the answers, but regardless of their situations, it's pretty unfortunate. So like I said, I usually only start watching a show that has a couple seasons to binge through already, so I don't have to worry about another cancellation. And I know that's a pretty popular tactic with most people. But at what point do the amount of seasons become daunting? Is it 5, 10, 15, 20? Where is that sweet spot of just enough seasons and too many seasons? When it comes to Supernatural, the numbers speak for themselves in a lot of different ways. The show clearly found a ton of success to be one of the few shows to reach 300 episodes, but as a new viewer to the show, this can be a bad thing. The average season of Supernatural has 22 episodes. There's some with a few less, some with a few more, but 22 is the average season length. Comparing this to season lengths of most modern TV shows, this is absolutely massive. Most new shows that come out have around 10 episodes, so this number alone is pretty scary. But the episodes are also shorter than the 10 episode seasons, going from 60 minutes to 42 minutes. That's a bit less scary, so let's do the math. 
The show has 327 episodes. Let's say that they're all 42 minutes. I don't quite remember if there's any like special hour-long episodes, but let's just say 42 minutes. That's 13,734 minutes, or 229 hours, or about nine and a half days. The show is nine and a half total days long. That is an absolutely insane amount of time for a television show, and an even bigger time commitment. When you compare this time to any other show, let's say Game of Thrones, because I've heard a lot of people say they don't want to start that because of the time commitment. Game of Thrones has 73 episodes, each of them an hour long, give or take. So that's 4,380 minutes, or right around three days. You can watch the entirety of Game of Thrones three times before somebody would be done watching Supernatural once. All right, maybe it sounds like I'm going in circles here, so let me circle back to the question, is 15 seasons too many? I don't know. It really depends on the person. There is so much media to consume across all different streaming services, social media platforms, and not all of that is worth your time. Is watching this video really worth your time? So I'm making this video as a sort of statement because I want to find out the answer. As somebody who gets very easily distracted, who watches a lot of different movies and shows, I want to see if my attention span can be dedicated to something like Supernatural without getting too bored or uninterested in the show's story. If you're already a Supernatural fan, then buckle in because I'm going to be making some videos about this show. So subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're not a Supernatural fan and the show seems at least interesting to you, then I challenge you to take this journey with me. Watch the show, watch my videos on it, and if you're still watching this video, then I see you don't really have anything better to do. So why not start watching a show you know is going to be around for a while? Keep an eye out for some Supernatural videos coming, at least for as long as I can stay interested in it, and see for yourself if 15 seasons really is too many. Special thanks to my channel members, you guys are the absolute best, and you guys are the first to see this video. So if you want to see videos early like them, become a channel member. You get lots of exclusive perks depending on the tier, so check it out by hitting that join button. Special thanks to these guys right here, and I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah.